What's going on, my kitsunes? It's your favorite great tail, Fox Foxy, coming back at you with a brand new episode of City Skylines 2, Port St. Glacy. And in today's brand new episode, well, I've got a bit of explaining to do, so I don't know what happened. I'm not entirely sure if there was like an update that got released, unfortunately, but all I know is that one day, my asset mods were working for this game, and then the next, they were just completely inoperable for some reason. Why? I don't know. Your guess is kind of as good as mine out here, but yeah, we're basically rebuilding from disaster out here, so that's kind of where we get this episode's name from. We were doing the same in Protogen Island, for anyone who follows the live streams, that is the live stream series that we've got out here too, and obviously we got the recent launch of the short series, which obviously have launched as a part of the Operation Snowbird out here, which basically, you know, it's basically the one of the final missions out here, I, as I'm going to go ahead and call them. I just want to make them sound cool, okay? But basically, it's one of the final missions to moving out of the place that I'm in once and for all, and hopefully into a place that's going to be much safer to live stream from out here, too, because let me tell you right now, it is getting to be a hostile environment I am in quickly out here. There's a lot of them. Um, how do I want to word this? I feel like the best word I can use is kind of like threats coming in from, let's just say, family that's been less than supportive, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like the situation has kind of improved very much out here. And it's basically regarding like, listen, you're gonna give, you're gonna give me control of all your hard work, and that's gonna be that. And obviously, we're making a bunch of threats if I don't do it and stuff like that. And I'm just not taking kindly to it. I'm actually not here for it. Now, obviously, I do have many theories as to why this is happening. You know, there's a lot of emboldened, like, you know, behavior, especially since they fall on a certain side of the political spectrum. And here in the US, obviously, things are very polarized. I don't wanna discuss it too deeply out here, but that's probably my best guess as to, you know, what's making them so bold out here, realistically speaking. So, yeah, that's currently what I'm trying to fight off with Operation Snowbird out here. That's why I've been releasing a lot of things lately, been focusing a lot on my content, because I don't want to lose all my hard work out here because a few idiots decided they were entitled to the right to take it from me. They decided it was just, you know, their God-given right or whatever. So, yeah, that's currently what I'm trying to fight off. Obviously, I'm doing pretty damn good at it so far, so I guess I can't get too mad at myself or anything like that, but... It is a little bit frustrating out here, you know, to deal with the stuff that I got to deal with, obviously. But anyways, right now, off that topic, as of right now, Operation Snowbird is live and should be on its way to being successful out here. So I'm not really too worried about it, you know. I'm a little more worried if things go to the courts because, well, obviously, I, I live in a state where it's a little less than favorable, to say the least. But again, right now, I want to focus on the build out here, too. I think I've spent long enough kind of like talking about this here. But anyways, right about now got a few um sands going up right here you can actually see some skyscrapers and i do establish some of the first city services out here which i think absolutely look pretty cool but yeah putting in some of these decals and everything like that and i think it does look pretty nice of course since it's florida we gotta have the palm trees out here it is supposed to be based off of port st lucie at the very least or at the very least the name is supposed to be because i haven't done any actual google maps research of port st lucie out here all i know is i-95 runs through the area and that's about it so maybe i should probably fix that in this new version since i've kind of got a golden opportunity to well do just that obviously because I think the city actually is turning out nice, but I also want to make sure that its inspiration is correct as well, too. And also, you can see me kind of, like, you know, messing around with the road markings to some degree. It actually does take a little bit of work with the turning lanes. More specifically, it's going to take a lot of work on the um, curved areas. I'll tell you what right now, that is, like, one of the more challenging spots to work with right here. But, yeah, we got these little turn lanes over here. We got a few other things going on as well, including, by the way a two-lane road and now obviously i could have put parking on it but i think given that this is a um i want to say kind of like a downtown area but like a large city i think it'd make a little bit more sense instead of street side parking to put parking garages obviously you know for the suburban areas it might make a little more sense to do the street side parking obviously we're definitely going to want to hide the um parking underground well not really hide the parking underground actually i think the bigger focus should be just hiding the parking in general we're not going to want to hide the parking underground though in the suburban areas and there actually is a pretty good reason why i say this well this build takes place in florida okay so we can't really do much underground in fact i'm actually kind of surprised we're able to have this many skyscrapers on the coast you'd think the limestone and the water table alone would put a stop to that because skyscrapers oftentimes will require multiple sub basements but I guess not. I guess someone figured out a way to engineer it to make it work out here. But yeah, I think it does look pretty good. 
a few other things going on right now. Obviously, we're building the city hall and we're going to keep kind of like, you know, we're going to add in a lot of the services that we were adding in the old uh, version of Port St. Port St. Glacy as well. I was about to call it Port St. Lucy for some reason, and I don't know why, but it's Port St. Glacy. It's supposed to be, um, supposed to be a reverence to the Glacion out here. That's all I'm going to say on that one. I'm 99% sure I probably just got this episode completely struck down for no reason out here. But you know what? It's literally just a name out here too, and I doubt anyone's really going to, like, you know, do anything over it out here, at least as far as I can tell. But yeah, that's pretty much supposed to be the reference out here. We're currently adding in a few other things as well. Obviously, we got, you know, some street decorations going up here. And I actually saved the game before messing around with these street decorations, particularly the net lanes. Now, obviously, I don't trust this game with net lanes. And for a number of very very good reasons I don't trust this game with net lanes. Why? Because I have actually worked with net lanes on roads in the past while recording for the recording for this channel in the past and the game has just crashed to the desktop much like how it does with SimCity 4 where it just suddenly does it with like no explanation no reason I'm pretty sure it doesn't even generate a log file at least as far as I can tell it doesn't because I haven't really found it if anyone does know if it does generate a log file on crashing please let me know because I need to know what causes it to crash what causes me to be unable to do certain things for some pointless random reason I know Anarchy is a pretty big culprit, actually, for a lot of crashes out here, too. Hopefully, the developers of Anarchy have gotten past that, and hopefully in the future, when it comes to find it, I'll be able to search for a sign without crashing to the desktop. That has been a consistent problem as of late. I don't think that issue has really been reported to find its developers, either. Maybe we need, Maybe someone needs to fix that. Maybe that person needs to be me. I don't know. But yeah, that's another problem I've been having consistently with find it. I search for a sign... And mind you, I'm also searching, I only found out recently I'm searching for a sign that does not exist in this game. And it's be, and it actually just crashes to the desktop. Why? I don't know. That's just how this game works. It, it just has a mind of its own at times. But anyways, back to business out here with the um, turning lanes out here. Now, obviously, I didn't really trust these decals either. I don't really trust anything that's modern in this game right now because I just am extra paranoid of a crash. Oh, and you might have also noticed, too, using Road Builder, I made some custom one-way roads out here, too. And these are actually blank one-way roads, and I think they look really cool. They, they kind of, like, you know, fit the urbanist vibe, like, a lot out here. And I'm actually a really big fan. I'm thinking of making three-lane one-way roads out here, too. And anything higher, because, well, I don't really have access to Mio Road assets anymore. We don't really need Mio Road assets anymore. And plus, it also breaks the game completely, so I prefer Road Builder for a number of good reasons. But anyways... We are just about starting to approach the end of this episode out here, too, as we start to finish off this intersection, dividing the turn lanes and everything like that out here. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. You had a reminder three minutes in. You're going to have a reminder come up at the end screen. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. Have a great day or night. No matter where in the world.